Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 2020-2021 Online Challenge Awards Ceremony. We are very excited that for everyone to join us tonight, and we have a whole lot of work that we are going to be celebrating during our vir mainly virtual year. We have our co-host, Mrs. Lund, who is the coach for Orchard Hills, who is helping me out tonight because this is a big job. We got a lot of awards to, to pass out, and um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, um, this has been an unprecedented year. Obviously, about over a year ago, we were shut down and some of us hadn't even gone to the state championships yet. So we still have robots at some of our schools that are built and haven't been touched in a year. So we redesigned our program and became virtual, starting with the TPSF Summer Academy and then into this entire school year. We had 341 students participate this season and 239 students participate in the virtual coding competitions during phase one. We also had 140 students and teams submit into the online challenge categories and we created, no, mainly I created 90 new TUSD robotic videos for our wonderful new YouTube channel. Um, we also grew. We added three new robotics programs this year. We added two programs at Legacy. We have a middle school program and a high school program at our brand new school, Legacy Magnet. And that is a very exciting uh, growth for TUSD Robotics. And then Miss Lund also grew her program by adding seven more VEX IQ middle school teams to her already five teams that she has that compete with EDR. So three entirely new robotics programs. We have a few new coaches I'll introduce as well in a moment. And in the end, some of our teams even qualified for the world championships, even during a virtual year. So it has been a, a just such a wildly successful year. I'd like to give credit to the two schools that actually qualified for the world championships. Now, not many of our schools paid the official registration fee because we were unable to host tournaments and make money. So we actually um, did not pay our registration fees to be official teams this year, but we um, did have the Orchard Hills teams, the 12 teams compete in online challenges and seven of those teams made it to the world championships uh, through their online challenge entries. And we will see some of those people recognized tonight. Um, so congratulations, Orchard Hills, all of the teams for being wildly successful, but making it to the world championships in a virtual year is pretty incredible. Now, we didn't actually go compete in the world championships, wasn't worth the money, but we made it once again to the world championships. And Beckman also had teams and they competed in remote live tournaments in their classroom against teams from all over the state. They, every single Beckman team made it to the California State Championship and then six of their teams made it to the World Championships. So we did not expect to really make it in this realm of competitive robotics this season. And we had so much success, even making it to the world championship. So congratulations to all of the teams that qualified for the world championships. All right, we are going to take a moment to thank the Tustin Public Schools Foundation. This is an incredible foundation who started us off with the Summer Academy. And we, um, started with just six middle school teams with the Tub Tustin Public Schools Foundation in a summer. And we have grown in the last seven years into a very competitive force. So we wanna just give a shout out to Tustin Public Schools Foundation, uh, not only for the Summer Academy that feeds our regular school program, but also just for the support, the volunteers and uh, helping us make money to put back into the program. So thank you so much. And for sponsoring the trophies 
that we have created for this evening. You can see over my shoulder here that the very top, these are the VEX IQ first place trophies that were be that are made and will be distributed to school sites tomorrow. We also have the trophies with the game field for the EDR game, the, the balls that were used for this year's game field elements on a uh, placard that it sits on top for the first place uh, EDR participants. And then we have these wonderful silver gears that we created for all of the Inspire Awards. So those will be delivered to your school sites tomorrow. Now I'm wondering, do we have Carol with us from the Tustin Public Schools Foundation to say a couple words? Uh, Carol, are you here to join us? I'm here. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Well, thanks, Mrs. Williams. So first I wanna congratulate you and all the coaches for an amazing job this season. Um, those awards, I know you had a big hand in those, very creative. I can't wait to see them in person. Um, but on, the, on behalf of the Tustin Public Schools, Schools Foundation. I just wanted to congratulate all the students. I hope someday you can look back at this year and realize what a strange year it was and have confidence in yourselves. In a pandemic, you still were able to participate in robotics. So if you can do that, you can do anything. So I hope you'll remember that. Take that with you. Be proud of what you've done. And we are just thrilled for you all. So impressed by what you've been able to accomplish. And same to all the teachers and Mrs. Williams for all you've been able to do. So on behalf of all of us at TPSF, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. And thank you for all of those great words. Um, I am trying to get the live chat activated at the moment. Um, we do have a live chat. We wanna go over some etiquette rules, um, but I am trying to figure out, it says it's disabled and I forgot how to enable it. So I am going to try and figure that out here in a moment. Um, but let's do this. Um, let me see. It's in the stream settings. Okay. I in YouTube. Is that, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. Oh, I see maybe right there. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to play around with that in a second. And we let's go ahead and well, I really wanna get this going. Megan, why don't you take a few moments as I look for this setting um, to talk a little bit about what you saw this year with the kids and how they persevered through this year. If you could take a few moments to talk to them. All right, so it's been such a crazy year as a coach, um, it's made me appreciate things that in the past, I feel like we had to push aside because sometimes there's just chaos that comes with the regular competition season. And there is just kind of a rush about a normal year. And this year, I really feel like we got to take a breath and slow down and really take learning as a huge, huge priority. Of course, we're always learning, but I feel that we got to focus a lot on that. And I saw so much growth in understandings of notebooking and CAD and coding. And there's just a lot of growth that happened. So I have to also say that I'm so proud of all the other coaches that committed to bringing robotics to school this year because not everyone did. And I think it made the crazy year feel a little bit more normal. And it is a very big blessing for those schools that did have it. And then I'm also so proud of all the students that participated. This wasn't the season you signed up for. We were hoping that we would be somewhat normal back a year ago when we were applying and getting the teams put together. But you didn't just participate this year, you actually really thrived. You learned so much. You navigated in a virtual setting with a team. Um, you participated in so many challenges. And I think overall, it's just been so great to see. So whether you won an award or not tonight, you have made this year so great. And I can't wait to see what all of you do next year when it hopefully looks more normal. So great job, everyone, and thank you. Um, for all of your participation. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lund. Um, I think I have the live chat activated, but I am going to check it out real quick. 
Um, but I am going to, so Jeremy is your moderator tonight. Um, he's going to text me if we have any problems here. Um, please make sure you follow the etiquette rules, which is um, positive comments only. Support your teammates when they, uh, when appropriate. And also make sure no spamming. Let's be very positive tonight and have a great experience. Okay, so the live chat is activated. Jeremy Chan is your moderator. You should see him posting in there and kind of uh, keeping tabs on you and texting me if anything goes wrong. So we don't want it turned off. So make sure you keep the live chat going to have some have um, everybody involved tonight. All right, I'd like to take this time to really celebrate our coaches. Not every coach decided to do this this year. And out of the many elementary schools, we only had two elementary schools go all the way through phase one and phase two. So we would like to give a huge shout out to Mrs. Johnston from Arroyo Elementary, as well as Mrs. Mulligan and Mrs. Stoller from Tustin Memorial Academy. They hung in there. They have students that are here tonight and they were able to persevere through phase one and phase two. And as Mrs. Lund knows it's a pretty long season. It's all the way from August to the end of March, beginning of April. So we really, we did a lot of learning and thank you to our elementary coaches who stuck with us. CAD was new to them and VEX Code VR was relatively new to them and they did a fantastic job. As for our middle school coaches, we had every single middle school participate this season. Um, we even have new coaches. We have Mrs. Mead from Legacy, brand new to robotics, although her son RJ Mead comes from Beckman Robotics. So she got a little bit of help from her son, which was awesome. Thank you, RJ, if you're watching. Um, we have, of course, Mrs. Lund from Orchard Hills with her 12 competitive teams that we will see very well represented this evening. We have Mr. Cherigino, which is the new, brand new pioneer middle school coach who I worked with this season to kind of catch him up, although it was virtual, so we've got a lot to do next year. Um, we've got Mr. Hollingshead, who's returning um, with us for Hughes Robotics, Mrs. Wen from Sycamore Magnet, and who I have only done one real year with, so we're still working with that program. And Mr. Kim is returning from Ut Middle School. So uh, thank you. And I worked with the CT Robotics teams. Thank you so much for just keeping these programs going um, for the middle school robotics. And then last but not least, we have our high school coaches with a new high school coach. We have Mr. Ireland, who is the new high school legacy robotics coach. He comes from Pioneer, a ton of experience. Legacy is very, very lucky to have Mr. Ireland come in and uh, take this over at the high school level and also support Mrs. Mead. Um, so we are welcoming him to the new high school level um, and joining Mr. Sit from Beckman High School, who has been a coach for many years in our program, uh, doing a fantastic job. We have Mr. Farr returning for many years as well, and he's retired and he's still coaching TUSD Robotics. So uh, thank you, Mr. Farr. And then a brand new coach, Miss Sung from Tustin High School. So I have so many new coaches on a virtual year. We've got a lot more learning to do, but you did incredible. So everybody, thank your coaches. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. It's been um, just a fantastic year. I can't believe how much we got done. All right, I think we're ready for our first award winner. So Kayla, are you here with us this evening? Hi. Hi, Kayla, how are you? Oh, I love your filter. That looks great. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Kayla, is, we're really doing great. We're so excited to celebrate all of you. So Kayla is from Ladera Elementary and Kayla won the Engineering Notebook Award in phase one. And you can see a page of her notebook there very much using those engineering processes like those hash marks to cross out the white spaces, her sketches, just an incredible job, Kayla. Can you share with us in one sentence what robotics has meant to you this season? Um, robotics has given me the opportunity to experience and explore something new. Awesome. And it's been a good one. I worked with you all year and we've had a great time together. So thank you, Kayla. And congratulations. Your trophy will be delivered to your school tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Have a great night. Next up, we have team 8838D. 
from Orchard Hills Middle School, who also won the Engineering Notebook Award in phase one. Now in phase one, we hadn't built any robots yet. So this is the documentation of the engineering design process up until where we choose the best idea. Um, Mrs. Lund, as uh, the team can go ahead and, and turn your cameras on if you're here, um, would you play a little video clip so we can see what this looked like? With the various types of robots we have researched, such as the claw bot con and conveyor bot as well, um, we have been able to come up with many different subsystems and subsystem designs to choose from. Each of them has a different way of solving the problem, the challenge presented. Perfect, that was just a little clip. I didn't show the whole video, of course. Do we have any representatives from 8838D here tonight? Um, yes. Go ahead and turn your cameras on and, and we can hear from you. There we go, I see Maxwell Penn. Anybody else from the group? Maybe I'm just not seeing them. They're oh, there we go. I just can't see everybody at the same time. Welcome, You. we have uh, Matthew, Actually, let me have you introduce yourselves and say your names. Uh, let's see if you can, if we can do this coordinated, we can try. Go ahead and unmute and say your names. Um, hi, I'm Maxwell Penn. Murad Malik. Hello, my name is Matthew Salto. So my name is Ayanik Paul. And I'm Chris Agarwal. Perfect. Thank you so much. Can I have someone from your team? Um, you did an incredible job on your notebook, and I know you put a ton of work in. Can I have someone from your team go ahead and talk about what robotics meant to you this season? Okay, this season robotics was really different. So this year, it really gave my team and I a new experience digitally while retaining the concepts of the past. So we still could apply what we learned in our past years to our new digital future. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Your awards and trophies will be delivered to your school site tomorrow. Have a great night. I'll see probably some of you in a little bit. We've got some repeat uh, award winners tonight. Okay, next up, we have the Engineering Notebook Award for team, team 98628A from um, Tustin High School. And they look at these brainstorms. I mean, these drawings are incredible. What creativity. Do we have any representatives from Team 98628A tonight? Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how about you? I'm very well. I'm gonna go ahead and have anybody who's here go ahead and announce your name so you pop up on our screen. Uh, so my name is Jamara and I'm the representative for this team. Great, did anyone else join you tonight or are you the only one? There we go, I can see your face now. <laughs> yeah, most of the people in my team are seniors so they have a little bit of stuff to do for college. Okay. Of course, everyone, and we have a lot of people at sports tonight, so not everyone can make it. I completely understand. Jamara, tell us, what does uh, robotics mean to your team and to you this year? This year, robotics really meant the world to me. I think that I'm just so grateful for everyone who really took the time to give us this opportunity just to try something out. And it just helped me feel very grateful for robotics and what I have now. Thank you so much, Jamara. And I look forward to working with you more next year. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, awesome. Your awards will be delivered tomorrow. All right, next up, we have um, an engineering uh, notebook award uh, for Bindia Reddy Patanam. Are you here with us, Bindia? Um, yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. We're gonna play you? I'm great. I'm so excited to celebrate you. We're gonna play a little clip of your video. is the lift has extra features with an elevator and claws with six hooks so it has extra grip on the riser. It can also be stuck up high because of its moving hands. It can carry four risers at a time. Wow. Now this I just loved your narration. You did such a good job. Um, can you tell us what has robotics meant to you this season? Um, robotics like inspired me to learn something new. It was like a great experience because it's my first year and I'm so happy to have such great coaches.
Oh, me too. Your coaches are amazing. A little shout out to the TMA coaches, uh, Mrs. Stoller and Miss, Mrs. Mulligan. All right. Thank you. Your uh, awards will be delivered tomorrow. Thank you so much. Is the list has extra features. Okay. Next, we are going to move on to team 3383D. This is again in phase two. So it means they didn't submit during phase one, just like Bindia. Now we have a um, uh, looking at the um, decision matrix that they put in their notebook. Do I have any representatives from 3383D? Uh, yeah. All right. So why don't I go ahead and have you all say your name one at a time? Uh, my name is Hassan Shoy. Hello, my name is Ayush Patel and I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> we are. Any more with us tonight? Hi, my name is Devin Mehta. Okay, can I have one of you share what robotics has meant to you this year? On behalf of Team 3383D, robotics has helped our team come together inside and outside of the classroom and has taught us how to become better teammates as well as skilled engineers. It has provided a place for us to expand our knowledge of robotics and collaboration. Collaboration. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for sharing and your awards will be delivered tomorrow and I'm looking forward to more years with all of you. Congratulations. All right, next we are going to move on to our first Inspire Award. So the Inspire Awards are the not the first place winners, but they inspired um, in a variety of ways. We had so many notebook entries, but these four teams uh, really showed some great uh, things in their notebooks. I'm showing right now the Beckman High School brainstorm of what we call a hood or what was used on a snail bot. And you can see all the ideas that go into these robot designs. Um, so if you are somebody from um, one of NERA, Legacy Team 4, Columbus Tustin 7057D or Beckman 2496, go and turn your cameras on and we're gonna introduce yourselves one at a time. Is NERA here? Hi. Hi, Nira. How are you? I wanted to get your face on camera. Congratulations. We're going to save a little time and yeah. Inspire Awards are not going to give a sentence to save a little time because, of course, I'm already running a little behind. Uh, but thank you, Nira. Congratulations. Uh, how about Legacy Team 4? Are you here? I'm a member. Okay, go ahead and introduce yourself with your name. Hi, I'm Aziz Ramallah. I love your back back screen or your uh, virtual background. Um, anybody else from your team? Hi, I'm Ayush Jain. Welcome. Anybody else? Hi, my name is Brennan Chang. Wonderful. Any more? Hi, my name is Ethan Perez. Any last ones? <laughs> Hello, my name is Maria Batista. You're doing a wonderful job going in order. Any more? Okay, so this is Legacy Team 4. Legacy, this is the first award that Legacy has won as a school for robotics. So congratulations, that's so exciting, um, and it will be delivered tomorrow. All right, let me go ahead and get Columbus Tustin 7057D. Do we have any representatives from that team here tonight? All right, I see I have two, and I work with this team every week, so I know you very well. Go ahead and introduce yourself one at a time. Hi, my name is Spencer Teft. Hi, my name is Tyler Ng. Uh, I'm Benjamin Lee. Perfect. Anyone else from your team? I think that's it. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Thank you. We have had uh, such a fun year. I've had a great year working with you, and I will see you soon and deliver your awards. And then do we have any reps from Beckman High School 2496R? Hi, everyone. I'm Van Fong Nguyen. Welcome, and we're going to see you hopefully a little bit later too. Uh, thank you for representing Beckman tonight, and you did an incredible job. Does that happen to be your brainstorms on the screen? No, it's my teammate Michelle's. Oh, they're really, really great. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Van Fung, and have a great night. We'll probably see you in a little bit. Thank you. Okay, next we're going to move on to the Engineering Notebook Awards uh, Phase 2 Inspire. Again, we had more in this category than anybody else. Do we have any one here from Sycamore Magnet. Now Sycamore is not only a brand new magnet school, but they have a, a new coach and we have new team members. And it looks like we have, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Cristal Costa. 
Hi, welcome. And I haven't even met you in person yet. I can't wait to meet you. So um, thank you for doing such a great job with your coach on your notebook. And then do I have any reps from Pioneer 67722C? This would be, I know who they are. Oh, perfect. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Nope, I think you're on the wrong, you're on the wrong award. I know who this is. This is Suman Cho, Cho and Jane Hewitt. And I just had to show you their brainstorms. Anthony, go ahead and turn your camera off. Or what, Anthony, what team were you on? Okay. <laughs> um, Suman Cho, I just had to show that she made all of her designs using digital tools. I think it might've been Google Draw, but you can see I had to show you what she drew. Her entire notebook and Jane and Suman together uh, did an incredible job using digital tools to show their designs. All right, congratulations, Pioneer. All right, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna move on to the design award. This is also a notebook award, but this is phase two, we, so we started to build. And so we have team 8838C from Orchard Hills. You can see they documented their building process. They did it safely, they sent parts home. Go ahead and um, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ila Kaili Pony. Hello, my name is Kayla Gatti. Hi, my name is Joshua Yang. Any more? Okay, perfect. Your team did an incredible job documenting and your build and uh, doing this safely. Can I have one representative say what robotics meant to you this season? Robotics this season has been a once in a lifetime experience and has helped us build problem solving skills in unexpected situations. So as we progress into the future, we can get closer to our goals. Amazing. And I'm so excited. We've got many more years to work with, with all of you if you continue on. So thank you for your incredible work and uh, still persevering through this year. And your awards will be delivered tomorrow. All right, let's move on to our net, our Inspire Award. We only have one for this category. Um, and this is Team 3383E from Orchard Hills. Who are the reps that we have tonight? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Isabella Wong, and I'm going to be representing Team E this evening. Mrs. Williams, I, I saw I was muted. Anyone else that wants to introduce themselves? Okay, Isabella, go ahead and, um, oh, this is the Inspire Award. I'm just introducing you. So thank you, wave to the audience, smile, and I will see you soon. And look at their incredible bills that they documented at home. It's just, it's amazing what we got done this year. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm gonna try and catch up on a couple minutes here. Um, we next have our first CAD Award of the evening. Now this was phase one. So this was before we had even taught CAD to students. And we can see that we use Tinkercad here. Louie, are you here with us this evening? Uh, yes, I am, hello. Hi, Louie, how are you? Good, good, how are you? I'm great. Can you go ahead and tell us what robotics has meant to you this season? Uh, robotics has meant a lot to me. It really helped me learn the engineering and design process. It taught me how to CAD and it also um, was great practice for coding. Yeah, and Louie, we worked together and you did an incredible job. So this is actually a motor holder that would hold a motor onto a robot. So thank you so much, Louie, and congratulations. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. We're going to move on next to the middle school uh, robot award. And I failed to mention that these are in categories of elementary, middle school, and high school. Um, so this is the CAD robot part award where they could design any original part they wanted for a robot. So Srinath, are you here with us tonight? Yes, I am. Hi, welcome. Tell us what robotics has meant to you. And this, by the way, is a standoff. It holds uh, beams certain distances apart. Tell us what robotics has meant to you this year. Um, this year, robotics has um, allowed me to um, let out create um, let out my creativity in different ways since we're online. Yeah, and you did an incredible job. And this is before we even taught CAD. We had, you're already using Tinkercad. So I can't see, wait to see what you do in the future. All right, congratulations. And we'll move on to the next award, which is another robot part. This was phase two, designed by Carter Chu from Hicks Canyon Middle School, designed in Onshape. Carter, are you here with us this evening? Yes. 
Hi, Carter. Welcome. Tell us, what, this is an incredible design, and you had not done CAD before we, we introduced it to you, had you? Uh, no, I haven't done it. Yeah, you did a great job. Tell us what robotics has meant to you this season. It's been a lot, and as a fourth grader, robotics has been a helpful introduction like, to the world of engineering, and very thankful for everyone that has supported me in my builds. Oh, that's so nice to hear. And by the way, I forgot to mention, he's a fourth grader. We have fourth graders designing full robots in CAD. It's incredible. They're, they're blowing me away. Can you, Mrs. Lund, can you imagine what they're going to be like when they come into middle school? <laughs> it's incredible. These are fourth graders. All right, next, we're going to move on to Derek Chen, who has actually won an official award with the REC Foundation in VEX, um, second place in the country for this design right here. Um, this is, a, if you could design any part you wanted for your robot, what would you design? And uh, Derek designed this, and I think you used Autodesk, I think that's correct? Yes, Autodesk. Yes, perfect. Derek, what has robotics meant to you this season? Robotics has given me the opportunity to develop my leadership skills and to adapt to make the most out of the worst situations. Yeah, it's been a tough situation and we did really well. We had, not only did we adapt, we thrived. We did really good this year. So thank you, Derek. And what, uh, congratulations on your award with the REC Foundation, an official award and with us. Thank you so much, congratulations. All right, next we're going to move on to an Inspire Award. This was uh, the robot part um, designed. This one was designed by Nathan and Ian Kim. Um, it's a standoff which holds things in place, but they're very hard to get off. So they wanted it to open up. <laughs> they wanted to make it easier to get off. This was a creative CAD challenge. Um, and then we also have Alice who received a um, Inspire Award for her CAD part design in phase two. And are either one of you here with us tonight? If you are, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Alice, uh, and I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Thank you. That's Alice from Hicks Canyon Elementary. And then do we have Nathan or Ian Kim with us? Hi, my name is Ian Kim. Hi, nice to see you. All right. Um, and congratulations. Your awards will arrive tomorrow. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have um, our... CAD subsystem. So this is phase one. Remember again, we had not taught CAD. So this is Alexander Oda and he's from Tustin Memorial. What grade are you in Alexander? I'm in fifth grade. Okay, and you designed this before we taught you CAD. Can you tell us what has robotics meant to you? Robotics has let me see my friends and teachers and has given me more experience in coding and CAD programs. Great, and you did an incredible job. And uh, this, by the way, is a subsystem. It's a lift, it's a four bar lift that goes on a robot to lift things up. All right, congratulations and your awards will be delivered tomorrow. All right, next we've got Rohan. Rohan, are you here with us? Uh, yes. So we used Autodesk here to create a chassis with four motors um, and you did an incredible job. Rohan, what has robotics meant to you this year? Uh, so this season, like robotics has allowed me to learn many new skills, uh, not only CAD, uh, but also how to communicate with my teammates during like difficult times. This was made possible by uh, you and my amazing coach, Mrs. Lund. Um, so thank you to them. <laughs> uh, we're, we're so happy to be able to provide this to, for you. So it takes students like you to be able to, to get these things that you've got to do the work. We just lead you to the work. You do the work. <laughs> All right, thank you, Rohan, congratulations. And let's move on next to Bindia's coming back. She designed a subsystem um, and this was phase two. Bindia, are you here with us? Um, yeah. Hi, go ahead and tell us what has robotics meant to you this season? Um, robotics meant a lot to me. Like, like um, it teach me new stuff, like coding and um, like using the engineering notebook to do other things and lead you to the coding. Yeah, you've done an incredible job. It's been fun to watch your progress and see all your entries. You did, you really took advantage of the online challenges. So good job. All right, let's move on to the next one. We're going to move to Alexis Chu. Alexis, are you here with us this evening? I am. Awesome. Alexis, um, you did an incredible job. 
building an on shape with all the V5 parts in there. Alexis, how has robotics been for you this season? Robotics has inspired me to create new things on different platforms and mediums. And I'm super grateful to have such supportive teammates and a great coach. Oh, we are so happy to have you. And I can't wait to see where you go from here. So your awards will be delivered tomorrow. And thank you for all of your hard work. All right, next we're gonna move on to Akil. Akil is from Foothill High School. I worked with him at Columbus Tustin for many years. Akil, are you here with us tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hi, Akil. Oh. Tell us, uh, you did a chassis as well. That You had six wheels on your chassis and I can see the gears integrated as, as in there as well. Great job. Um, what has robotics meant to you this season? Uh, robotics has meant to me, well, in general, just like it's allowed me to like introduce me to the engineering field, has allowed me to like develop leadership skills, and it's also allowed me to meet like some really cool people from around the world, which I think is great. Yeah, it really is so fun. I will be back to a regular season very soon here. So um, I'll be stopping by tomorrow to drop off your awards. All right, let's move on to the next one. It's an Inspire Award. All of these people. Um, also submitted robot subsystems. The one shown here is from Madison Colineo. She's from Pioneer Middle School. Um, she came so close to finishing the entire robot, but this was a flywheel on a chassis. Um, do I have um, Matthew Colineo here tonight? Hello. Hi, thank you for being here. And then how about Ryan Shaw, are you here? Go ahead and turn your camera on and wave and say hello. Hi. Hi, Ryan. And then um, it's that probably better if I have you introduce yourself so your camera sticks on a little bit longer on the live feed. Um, let me go ahead and have the rest of you, um, Madison, Yunji, and Connor, if you would like to turn on your cameras and then say your names. Hi, nice and cool, Nile. <laughs> I hear people cheering in the background. I agree. <laughs> Madison's a, a, by the way, Madison and Matthew are brother and sister, and uh, they are both fantastic catters and robotic engineers. Um, and Ryan's been with us for a long time as well. Um, Yunji, are you here with us this evening? Hello, my name is Yunji Lee. Great. Thank you for coming. And Connor, do we have you from Foothill High School? Okay, we don't have Connor, but we have the rest of you. Smile and wave to the camera. Thank you. You did an incredible job with your CAD designs. We are so excited to have you in our program. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna go to Edison Embler, who actually is playing a baseball game right now. Um, he is the award winner for an entire robot design. And I have to tell you, he made this in SolidWorks. We don't teach SolidWorks until high school. Edison is in fourth grade, and he did this before we even taught CAD. Here is his sentence on what robotics has meant to him. Being on the TMA robotics team gave me an opportunity to code and design my robot for the first time, and it made me want to keep doing it next year because I want to go on an airplane to go to the championship competition and beat other robots. <laughs> Edison, what a great attitude. We're sorry you couldn't be here tonight, but we are celebrating you anyways. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have Henry from Orchard Hills with his full robot design. Henry made a snail bot and it's just incredible. I think he used Autodesk. Henry, are you here with us? Yes, hello. Hi, Henry. Tell us, what has robotics meant to you this season? Robotics has helped me a lot in growing my catting, designing, building, and opening skills. And this is all thanks to my great coaches, you Mrs. Lund and you Miss Williams. Oh, well, we love having you. So this is an incredible design. It's a little hard to see because the background's similar color to the, to the parts, but it's a flywheel with a hood. I'm not sure how you made that hood. <laughs> so that is very good. When I don't know how you did something, uh, that's, that always is a good thing. Um, so congratulations, Henry. Your trophy will be delivered tomorrow. Okay, next we have um, our Robot Award Inspire Awards. They built whole robots. Um, what you're seeing right now is from Luke Tran from Pioneer Middle School. He made what's called a tray bot. I can't tell you how long these take to make. I mean, hours and hours. Uh, we also have Louie who designed um, an entire robot and Maxwell Penn and Murad Malik together uh, collaboratively, collaboratively designed a 3D robot. Can I have you all turn your cameras on um, and introduce yourself one at a time? Hi, I'm Luke Tan from Pioneer. 
I, Luke, I have to ask you, how many hours did it take to make that, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't count. <laughs> we lose track when we're, you know, in the zone. But I know it takes a really, really long time. All right. Thank you, Luke. And can I have someone else introduce yourself? Uh, hello, my name is Louie Hirajide. We good to see you back, Louie. And then, uh, and then, who else do we have with us? And hi, hi, I'm Rod Malik. And hi, I'm Maxwell Penn. All right. And did, how did you do this collaboratively together? Did you use Autodesk? Yes, mm -hmm. we used Autodesk Inventor, and what we did is we catted separate parts of the CAD, and then we sent them to each other to put them together. It, it was an interesting process, honestly. It sounds like it. I was wondering, I know on Shape you can collaborate, but not in Autodesk. It's really incredible to me that we have people using SolidWorks, Autodesk, and Onshape and Tinkercad, four different catting programs. I mean, we're doing something right in TUSD Robotics. All right, thank you, congratulations. Your awards will be delivered tomorrow. All right, next we're gonna move on to website design and I don't think they're with us tonight. Do I have Jane Hewitt or Suman Cho with us tonight? Okay, so Pioneer made an incredible, well, these two ladies made an incredible website. Um, what I loved about this website is they linked it to the actual stats on the robotevents.com. So each team actually linked to their past years and current year stats, which was really cool. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is Tustin High School. Um, do I have Anne Ruth with us tonight? I don't think so. Okay, so um, he's the one that submitted it, but it was for all, the entire Tustin High School Club. Do I have someone else from Tustin who's gonna rep for the website tonight? Yeah, I'm repping for him. Perfect. Is this uh, Jamera again? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, Jamera. So yeah. thank you so much. Um, what I loved, actually, that's your team A right there. What I loved is that you had profiles and pictures of every team. You also had ways to join the team and how to contact you. So that was just really incredible. And I love your new website. And I hope it helps you recruit in the fall. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Jamera, do you have anything you want to say? Did you already talk about what robotics meant to you? Do you have another sentence for us? Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> I really hope more people join robotics just because it's just such a great opportunity for them. And I really just want them to be part of this amazing community. Like all these kids are just learning such great things that I think will be applied so well in their adult life, especially in high school, especially in college. And I'm just really grateful. Yeah, thank you, Jamara. We are too. And I we're gonna we're gonna recruit like crazy next year and get more people onto the teams. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the Inspire Awards for the website design. Um, both Beckman and Orchard Hills created incredible websites. Um, let me see, do I have Van on with us tonight? Unfortunately, she's not here, but I'll definitely let her know. Okay, and, and who was that that just spoke? Was that Dan Fung. Dan Fung. Okay, perfect. Well, um, you, she, that's your sister. <laughs> and so uh, great job on the website. We also have the Orchard Hills website, which um, what I loved about this is that every single student has an individual profile on their team. Everything's linked. And this is a really great way to share what we do with the community. So thank you for building websites and I hope we use them next year. And thank you, Mrs. Lund for uh, sharing your website with, uh, with us. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have, um, let's see, we've got our STEM Research Award. Now this actually won first place, tied first place with another team from Orchard Hills. This is one of the 3383A teams. Mrs. Lund, will you play just a small clip of their STEM research? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Think Pink Medical News at 3 p.m. I'm Joyce Lund, your host for today, and I'm here with reporters Naomi Lee Pan and Arna Mahalai. Today's medical report is on malignant tumors and gyro ultrasonic range finding sensors. Now to Arna over at Hawk Central Hospital. Thanks, Joyce. Unfortunately, roughly 606,520 people every year are diagnosed with malignant tumors, enormous masses, and new. All right, so what they were doing is they were sharing how sensors could be used to help detect tumors in the human body. What an incredible STEM research project. Do I have any representatives from 33838 this evening? Wonderful. Hello. Let's go ahead and have you all introduce yourself and then we'll talk about what it meant to you to be in this program. Hello, I'm Joyce Wen. 
Hi, Hello. I'm Arne Malle. Hello, I'm Naomi Liapan. Wonderful. Thank you so much for um, not only putting this wonderful video together, congratulations on officially winning with the Rec Foundation, but also coming in first place in our online challenge. Can one of you please share what robotics has meant to you this season? This past year, robotics has given our team the opportunity to embrace each of our abilities as individuals and demonstrate our resilience through this unprecedented time by collaborating all together as a spirited team. Yeah, you certainly did. I mean, your video is so much fun. I love the news story theme. So congratulations, and we will have your trophies at your site tomorrow. All right, next, we're going to move on to Team 3383D. This is the new program that Mrs. Lund added this year, VEX IQ teams for middle school. This is a, a GIF you'll see right there, active sensors trying to get rid of asteroids in space before they hit our earth. What a great idea. Do I have any representatives from 3383D tonight? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Devin Mehta from Hi, 3383. Go ahead, Hassan, say your name again. It got cut off. Oh, I'm Hassan Troy. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for being here. Can one of you please share what robotics has meant to you this year? What robotics has done for us this season is helping me realize that learning comes in more than just one way. Many people think that to learn something, you have to read it and then memorize it. But through this robotics season, I've realized that you can learn new things in many unique ways. Absolutely. And that's the goal of this program. There's lots of ways to learn. Thank you and congratulations. And uh, you will see your trophies tomorrow. All right. Next, we're going to move on to the Inspire Award. Goes to Hughes Middle School, Team 8929. Um, this shows you a little bit. They, did, they actually built a prototype of a robot using VEX parts and sensors to pick up trash. So very cool. And they did their STEM research. They, they went out into the community and asked people about um, what needed to be done. They also did research on sensors. Do I have anybody here um, from team 8929 Hughes Middle School? Oh, hi, I'm Ashley Masik. Hi, Ashley. Welcome. Do we have any more? Hi, I'm Alexis Chu. Anybody else want to introduce themselves? We got Ashley and Alexis. Okay. I'm Sydney Hodge. Hi, Sydney. And you can leave your cameras on, Ashley. Anybody else? I'm Sophia Griswold Belts. Welcome. Anybody else? This is a big group. Are those our four reps tonight? Okay. Tell me, who is going to say what the sentence of what robotics meant to you this season? Oh, I'm sorry. It's an Inspire Award. You're not prepped for that, are you? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for being here. Your uh, awards will be delivered tomorrow. And great job, Hughes, on your STEM Research Award. Thank you. Smile, wave to the camera. Thank you. Okay, next we're going to move on to our... Um, coding video tutorials. So these are people that taught other people how to do what we do in TUSD Robotics. Um, Ayan, are you here with us tonight? Yes. All right. So we have Ayan from Tustin Memorial Academy. Tell us what has robotics meant to you this season? So this year, well, it inspired me to work with what we have because because of COVID, we haven't, um, our um, school hasn't been able to build anything or participate in any competition. And it's allowed me to develop lots of stuff, including the CAD designs and the video tutorial I made. And it's helped me figure out new stuff that I never knew about. That's awesome. We're so happy to hear that. That was the point of the season. If we can't build robots, what can we do? We can still learn how to CAD and we can still learn how to code. So that's what we did. So great job. And we continue to build our notebook skills. Okay, next we've got his brother, Rohan, coming back. Also made a coding video tutorial using VexCode VR. Rohan, are you here with us? Yes. Give us a sentence of what robotics meant to you. Uh, so I already talked about it before, um, but like another thing um, is that I was able to even improve my coding because our school was one of the lucky teams who was able to um, build our robots. So it's able to uh, code uh, the robot that we built with new coding platforms such as VexCode Text. Um, so I was really uh, eager to be able to share my skills in VexCode VR with others. 
Yeah, you did a great job. Thank you, Rohan, for making Thank the you. video. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, next we're going to give the Inspire Award for a coding video tutorial. Uh, Bindia can come on back and Melody Fang. Two coding tutorials. Bindia made a, her own, taught people how to make their own blocks in VexCode VR. Are you here with us? You want to say hello and, and say your name? She might have left already. And then Melody, are you here with us? Hi, I'm Melody Fang. Hi, Melody. So good to see your face. I love it when p kids turn on their cameras. I miss them all so much. So wonderful to see you and congratulations. Your award will be delivered tomorrow. All right, next we have our engineering design process video tutorial. Elizabeth Kim, are you here with us? Yep. Hello. Hi, Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth made a video on how to brainstorm. And I love the example she used on how to brainstorming, uh, brainstorm using everyday items around the house, like the unicorn on the end of her pencil gave inspiration for her brainstorms. Um, Elizabeth, what has robotics meant to you this season? Robotics kind of helped me understand and give me like a new chance to explore about like robots, coding and catting. Yeah, you did an incredible job. It's been very fun to work with you. All right, thank you and congratulations and your award will be delivered tomorrow. Okay, next we have Henry's coming back. Um, we've got three uh, people from this family that just did an amazing job this year. Um, Henry, you did an engineering design process tutorial on how to choose the best idea in your notebook. Are you here with us? Yep, hello. You got a new sentence for us on what robotics meant to you? Yep. Uh, robotics has also given me an opportunity to work on my problem solving skills and communication in tough salute in tough situations. And again, this is thanks to my great coaches, Mrs. Lund. And again, you, Miss Williams. Thank you. Yeah, well, we, we so appreciate that. But I have to say thank you, Henry, because with Jeremy Chen, who's moderating the chat right now, Jeremy and Henry helped me teach CAD to all of the elementary students. They were our mentors. So thank you, Henry, and shout out to Jeremy Chen as well. All right, next up, we have our engineering design process video tutorial from Foothill High School, Team 6627D. They talked about how to research. Do I have a representative from Foothill High School tonight? Yeah, just me again, I think. I don't think <laughs> That's fine, Akil. We'll take you. So Akil, give me another sentence. What, how has, uh, what's robotics meant to you and your team this season? Uh, I mean, I feel like I covered it all in the last sentence, but I guess robotics has also like helped me um, just to improve caddying, coding, just any of the skills I'm going to need in the future if I want to go into the engineer field, which I will try to. Well, I know you're going to do great. I know you'll go into it and do fantastic. I've been watching you for years. So, all right. Thank you, Akil. You'll get your award tomorrow. Okay. Uh, all right. Next, we're going to uh, give an Inspire Award to two Orchard Hill students who work together on an engineering design process video um, on also choosing the best idea. Do we have Zayden and Vendant here tonight? Uh, yeah. Hi. Go ahead and say hi in your name. Hi, my name is Zayden Latif. And do we Hello, have your my name is, oh, sorry, pardon me. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Vedante All. All right, we are so thankful of your videos and you did a great job and your awards will be delivered tomorrow. Thank you so much. Smile and wave to the camera. <laughs> All right, next we have our uh, sketching video tutorial. So this student is from Columbus Tustin Middle School and did an incredible job teaching people how to use a, an app to with orthographic paper to draw a chassis. Do I have Andy Nguyen with us tonight? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Andy. You've been so fun to work with this season. Can you tell me what app did you use? Uh, I think it was Adobe Draw. Adobe Draw. Tell us, what has robotics meant to you this season? Uh, well, robotics revamped my interest in coding and design which can possibly help me in the future if I go into the engineering path. Yes, awesome. And you did a great job on your video tutorial. All right, your award will be delivered tomorrow. Next, we will move on to the Inspire Awards for the sketching video tutorial. And what you're seeing is Emma's hand. She did an incredible job showing how to draw orthographic drawings with the top, the side, and, and the, the uh, front view using an isometric 
drawing on the side. So that is Emma's drawing for our screenshot from her video. But Isabella, who I think is at a soccer game, and Farisha from Legacy is all are also Inspire Awards. Do I have any of you with us tonight? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, uh, go ahead and say your name. Hi, my name is Emma Trent. All right, great. And do I have Farisha with us? Yeah, hello, my name is Farisha Islam. All right, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Great job on your videos. Awards will be delivered tomorrow. All right, next we're gonna move on to our CAD video tutorial. And this was designed by someone else in the same household uh, of the Harizides. We've got Alice who taught us how to do a gear relation or a gear ratio using the gear relation tool in Onshape. Alice, are you here with us? Yes, I am here, hi. Hi, Hello. Alice. Tell us what robotics has meant to you. And your video is so great. What it, What is robotics meant mm -hmm. to you this year? Um, so robotics has taught me like uh, how to CAD in different programs such as Onshape and Tinkercad. It taught me how to be creative and it also taught me how to use the engineering design process. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Alice. You've been so fun to work with this season. Can't wait to see what your future holds. All right, next we're going to move on to our final awards of the evening, and I'm going to make it by 6 p.m. if you can believe it. If you know anything about me and running tournaments, I like to be on time. So I wanted to end this by 6 p.m., and we will be able to do that. Okay, so I want to just um, revisit our virtual coding competition. We have two people that were second and third place for all of the elementary students in TUSD. Remember, we had over 200 students participate. So Rishab, are you here with us? And Matthew, are you here with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so Rishab, go ahead and say your name. Hi, I'm Rishab from Hicks Canyon. Great, and then Matthew. Hi, I'm Matthew Clay and I'm from Tustin Memorial Academy. All right, we're so we're celebrating you again. We already celebrated you in December when you won um, and the, you were the finalist. Uh, so congratulations, you did an incredible job and keep up the coding work. All right, next we're gonna go to our first place winner for our virtual coding finals. Um, this is Edison Embler. Again, he's at a baseball game, but here's his quote for this evening. I barely made the TMA team for the coding challenge. I got the last spot but I practiced a lot before the challenge started and I ended up winning, so that was really exciting. Yes, it was, Edison. Uh, we are so happy to have you in TUSD Robotics and I hope you're doing well at your baseball game. All right, uh, next we're gonna go to the middle school virtual coding finalists. Um, we have Rohan, who will come back for a moment, and Zachary from Hughes Middle School, who got second and third place. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Oh, okay, so uh, hi, I'm Rowan Tablani and I'm from Orchard Hills. Perfect. And do we have Zachary here with us tonight? Doesn't look like it. Okay, Rohan, thank you for introducing yourself. And we are on to our final award of the night, which would be Haley Lee, who was our first place middle school coding winner. Uh, Haley, are you here with us? Yeah, hello. Hi, Haley. Oh, look, you look very much like your picture that I posted. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Same okay. headphones. Haley, you did an incredible job with coding. You were very, very fast. You won out of all of the students in Tustin Unified in middle school, you won. Tell us, what has robotics meant to you this season? Okay, so robotics has taught me how to adapt to new environments, people, and has offered an entirely different perspective of what it means to be on a team. Also, I'm really grateful for my coach and teammates and the experiences we had this year. Yeah, we all are. And I think that's, I think what you just said, we can all be in agreement. We are so thankful for all of our teammates that are in TUSD Robotics. We are so thankful for all of the coaches we're thankful for the administrators who support us in TUSD and the Tustin Public Schools Foundation for supporting us financially, emotionally, physically with volunteers. Um, we cannot do this without the community of TUSD Robotics. So that is it for the evening. We are just celebrating all the amazing work that you all, all of these students, um, we showcase tonight. It has been incredible. And I just wanna say thank you 
for so many kids showing up tonight. I know there was a couple of baseball and soccer games, but I am so impressed with the turnout. So thank you everybody for joining us tonight. Have a great evening and we will see you this summer at the TPSF Summer Academy. And next year we're bringing tournaments back. All right, everybody have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us.